Not even with Bitcoin. <laughs> Although there was a judge in one of the earlier editions of the UAE SWAT challenge who was bought with biscuits. He was dismissed. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to uh, those of you who are messaging in from Colombia. What time of the day is it there? Grate, the Colombian team, they are back again this year, the Colombian commandos. They will be next out of the gate. They uh, are next in the draw. It's windy. It's very windy. In fact, from when I arrived this afternoon, I think the wind has picked up in its intensity during the course of the evening. And it's getting colder and colder here at Al Ruea. coming in from Colombia right now and uh, you can see the sniper going through the motions in his head about that's obviously at the top of the tower just thinking through in his mind what he's going to do first putting that magazine in chambering the round Cocking that sniper's rifle and getting his shot away. To Aya. Yes, we are streaming on uh, YouTube. Dubai Police YouTube channel. We are streaming live there as well as Instagram, of course. I hope that answers your question. It's a clean shot from the Colombians, so now the breaching team can get going. Remember, this is the only event where six members take part. The rest are five-member team events. Sniper, five breaches, heading into the kill house. the finish line for the Colombians in a time of 124. Muy rapido. Muy, muy rapido. Those of you who are uh, asking patiently from Brazil, the GOER team of Colombia. They are up next. Are making their way to the start finish line now. So, those of you who've been messaging me incessantly from Colombia, you can relax now. Your team is about to get underway. Mauricio Escobar says, go Colombia. Are you related to Pablo? He 
Here we go. Are you ready? Ready? The uh, police sniper of the GOER Colombian team makes his way up that stairs. You can see that the uh, Colombian sniper has opted for a single chambered round rather than the magazine rounds that we've seen from the snipers of the last few teams anyway. He's struggling to find the target though. And he's missed the target. So that'll be a time penalty for the Colombians. Daniel Elborn says, can you explain the scoring system? Yes, I can, Daniel. Once uh, the events of day one are over, the team that comes top gets maximum points of the number of teams that compete. So in this case, if uh, all 74 teams completed the competition, they would get the maximum points all the way down to one if you come last. A purate, a purate! And across the finish line, 142.9 for the Colombian police. That little delay for the sniper to just try and find the target at the beginning has cost a few precious seconds.